hand of God. If don't nobody else appreciate your hand of God, you all appreciate your hand of God. Amen. Amen. Uh, my sister Lewis, uh, sister uh, Tamara Welch. Yeah. 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 Amen. I want to thank God for all of these clergy who are dressed in your tonsils on tonight. Uh, thank you so much uh, for giving respect to. Uh, the office of the bishop. Glory! And thank God for you and for this ministry. And this is a great I, uh, I call myself coming up to visit um, Bishop Welch here because um, I, uh, I wanted to get away and uh, get some rest. Yeah. And, uh, and so uh, this morning when I woke up, I discovered that this was not a trip for relaxation. Amen. But that it was a divine assignment connected to the visit. Amen. And uh, I have a great and deep admiration and love for your pastor. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Primarily because he he is a man who strives um, to have integrity, character, and to hear from the Lord. And, um, and in that, um, my message is twofold. And it's one of an admonishment and encouragement. Somebody say admonishment. Admonishment. And encouragement. Encouragement. Um, I, I've been doing ministry some uh, right at 30 years, pastoring right at 17. And, um, and uh, I have been to, I have been at place uh, at the point of a next level, a next move, a God opening a door, and have experienced great attack. And so I'm used to what the enemy tries to do uh, to get you to be distracted and begin to focus on things that are minute. And, um, and because in just uh, about uh, 45 or 50 days, uh, your bishop is going to be elevated to the highest ecclesiastical office uh, within uh, the Christian government, and that is of the office of the bishop for the Bible scene, that a man who desires, that was a good place to clap, you all right. <laughs> that was a good place to clap, amen. A man who desires the office of, of the bishop desires a good work, amen. amen. Now, now, everybody who calls themselves a bishop does not necessarily mean that they walk in the office of a bishop. Come on, bishop. Because to walk in that episcopacy Simply means now, uh, you have to do the work. Uh, in yeah. other words, there, there, are, there are people who are more enamored with the gold ring and the cross and the purple shirt and, 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 and all, of the, uh, all of the acclaim that comes along with some title, but really, uh, uh, it, it's a place of servitude. And, and my Bible says that if you're going to be great in the kingdom, you've got to be a servant to all. Amen. Amen. And so your man of God is being elevated to a greater level of servitude, which means now the enemy launches an attack upon the man of God through the people that he serves. So, and so I, I want to I want to just encourage you with four things that come out of the book of 1 Corinthians, the 11th chapter. 1 Corinthians, the 11th chapter. <clears throat> and I do want to thank again, Bishop Wilcher, thank you so, uh, so, uh, so much for uh, allowing me to come tonight. Uh, I know that this is your normal Bible study night, and uh, certainly it was not my intent to come in and bathe. Um, uh, but when I told him the Lord spoke something to my heart, uh, I thought I was just delivering it to him. Uh, and 
that was that. I was going to come up here and enjoy myself, stay overnight, amen, and get away from everybody, wife, kids, everybody, dogs, no responsibility. Psych. <laughs> so I do want to thank you. I appreciate you. Uh, look at look at First Corinthians eleven chapter. And uh, here with the writer says now uh, first verse, and then I'm going to read the first and second verse, and then I'm going to go over to the seventeenth verse, and then I'll go down from there. Now uh, be ye followers of me. Even as I am of Christ. Now I praise you, brethren, that ye remembering me in all things and keep the ordinance and traditions as I have delivered them to you. 17 verse. Now, now in this I declare unto you, I praise you not that you come together not for the better but for the worse. But first of all, when you come together in the church, I hear that there be divisions among you, and I partially believe it. For there must also be heresies among you, that which are approved may be made manifest among you. So that when you come together before uh, in one place, that it is not to eat the Lord's Supper. For in eating, everyone eateth taken uh, or other his own supper, and one is hungry and another is drunk. Yeah. What have you? Not houses to eat and drink in, or despise the church of God, and shame them that have not. What shall I say to you? Shall I praise you in this? I praise you not. For I have received of the Lord that which I also delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus Christ, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it, and said, Take this is my body, which is broken for you. Then this do in remembrance of me. And after the same manner also, he took the cup. When he had supped, saying, The cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as often as you drink. Drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink of this cup, you do show the Lord's death till he come. Wherefore, whosoever should eat of this bread and drink of this cup of the Lord, unworthily, <laughs> shall be guilty of the blood in the body of the Lord. But let a man examine himself. Amen. And so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily, eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning now the Lord's body. Amen. For this cause, many are weak. Amen. And sickly among you. Amen. And many sleep. For if we would judge ourselves, then there is no need to judge. Amen. But when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord, that we should not be condemned with the world. Wherefore, my brethren, when you come together to eat, tarry one with another. I simply want to talk about weight on me. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> weight on me. Heresies, betrayal, blood, wait on me. Heresies, betrayal, blood, wait on me. Paul's admonishment to the church at Corinth, primarily, in the first two chapters, his admonishment is to now follow me as I have followed Christ. All right. In other words, follow the pattern and example that I have set before you. And I praise you that you remember those who have authority over you. 